Hello and welcome to Mastermind with me, Clive Myrie. This is our final heat and the four contenders hoping to win the last remaining place in our semi-finals are James Horton, a PhD student whose specialist subject is the Dutch scientist Christian Huygens. Stuart Field, an administrator whose specialist subject is the BBC comedy drama Jonathan Creek. Aoife Gamble, a store assistant whose subject is the life and works of the Italian painter Artemisia Gentileschi. And Mike Wheeler, a university lecturer. His specialist subject is European mammals. <laughs> As always, it's two minutes on their specialist subject and two and a half minutes on general knowledge. So, good luck to you all. Can I have our first contender, please? Your name? James Horton. Your occupation? PhD student. And your specialist subjects? Christian Huygens. Yes, the 17th century Dutch mathematician, astronomer and physicist in two minutes, starting now. What rudimentary image projector did Christian Huygens invent around 1659, which he demonstrated at the family home? Magic lantern. Yes, Huygens is quoted as saying, I believe that we do not know anything for certain, but everything, what? Probably. Yes, what name was later given by the astronomer John Herschel to the moon of Saturn that Huygens discovered in 1655? Titan. Yes, from which French university, one of the few that still admitted Protestants, did Huygens purchase a doctoral degree in law in September 1655? Angers. Yes, what was the first name of Huygens' older brother with whom he worked on grinding lenses of sufficiently high quality for use in telescopes? Constantine. Yes, what was the name of the informal group of scientists and philosophers, including Huygens? who met at the house of a wealthy French scholar on the Rue de Temple. Montmore Circle. Yes, I'll take that, Montmore Academy. Which well-connected poet and critic, later a founding member of the Académie Française, was an enthusiastic promoter of Huygens' cause in France? Jean Chapelain. Yes, in January 1658, Huygens and the Dutch clockmaker Salomon Costa began work on the refurbishment of the church clock in which seaside suburb of The Hague? Scheveningen. Yes, during the sea trials of the Huygens pendulum clocks, the clocks were put on board HMS Reserve and which other Royal Navy ship, both captained by Robert Holmes? HMS Jersey. Yes, what device for creating a chamber devoid of air, originally devised by Robert Boyle, did Huygens replicate and seek to improve? Air pump. Yes, as part of his work on musical theory, Huygens described in 1691 how the octave could be successfully divided into how many equal intervals? 31. Yes, on his death in 1695, Huygens bequeathed the majority of his papers to which Dutch university? Um, Leiden. Yes, which Roman poet did Huygens quote in the coded anagram he sent to the English mathematician John Wallace to record his discovery of a satellite of Saturn? Ovid. Yes. James, you had no passes, and at the end of that round, you've got 13 points. And our next contender, please. Your name? Stuart Field. Your occupation? Administrator. And your specialist subject? Jonathan Creek. The comedy drama series in which a designer of magic tricks played by Alan Davies solves baffling mysteries in two minutes. Starting now, what's the stage name of the unscrupulous illusionist that Jonathan Creek works for throughout most of the series? Adam Klaus. Yes, in No Trace of Tracy, the musician Roy Pilgrim was once a member of which fictitious band? Edwin Drood. Yes, as revealed in the episodes Black Canary and Demon's Roost, what's the name of the windmill where, for most of the series, Jonathan lives alone? Ripley Mill. Yes, in Time Waits for Norman, the businessman Norman Stangerson's double life is exposed after he leaves his wallet in a burger restaurant in which town? Staines? No, Bishop Stortford. In The Three Gamblers, Adam is unimpressed when he visits which magic club and is roped into a joke involving bananas? Trick joint. Yes, in The Reconstituted Corpse. What's the title of the book that is promoted on a television talk show by Zola Zbezhevsky, whose appearance has been transformed through cosmetic surgery? Finding My Form. Yes, Carla Borrigo, who succeeds the journalist Mary Magellan as Jonathan's associate, becomes the host of what true crime television series? Eyes and Ears. 
Yes, in Black Canary, Charlotte, the daughter of the illusionist Marella Carney is studying for a postgraduate degree in what subject, cytology. which she describes as staring down a lot of microscopes, basically. Cytology. Yes, it's cytology. During a game of Scrabble in The Curse of the Bronze Lamp, the elderly twin Laurel Greeley, played by June Whitfield, puts down what unusual word, claiming that it earns her 76 points. Quarrel? No, Laos Wirt. For a village festival in Demon's Roost, Jonathan makes a scarecrow modelled on Alfred Hitchcock, although his wife, Polly, thinks it resembles which comedian and actor? Phil Jupiter. Yes, in Gorgon's Wood, Adam regrets taking part in which George Orwell-inspired television reality show, especially as he has been forced to drink pig's milk straight from the pig? Animal Farm. Yes, which musician and actor is credited with composing and arranging the songs The Yellow Room and drifting for the fictitious stage musical in the letters of Septimus Noon? Julian Stuart Lindsay? No, Philip Pope. What's the name of the cottage? I've started this all finish at 14 Gallows Gate, where the cartoonist Felicity Vale is found murdered, apparently strangled by a dead man. Cypress Cottage. It is Cypress Cottage. And Stuart, you had no passes, and at the end of that round, you've got 10 points. Thank you. Our next contender, please. Your name? Aoife Gamble. Your occupation? Store assistant. And your specialist subject? The life and works of Artemisia Gentileschi. Yes, the Italian Baroque painter who was one of the leading artists of the first half of the 17th century. In two minutes, let's go. Artemisia Gentileschi was born in Rome in 1593 and learned to paint in the studio of her father, an artist with what first name? Orazio. Yes, what 1610 work painted by Gentileschi when she was 17 is the first known painting to be signed and dated by her? Susanna and the Elders. Yes, an artwork known as Penitent Magdalene, thought to have been painted around 1625 and bought by the Spanish ambassador to Pope Urban VIII, is held in the cathedral of which Spanish city? Uh, Barcelona. No, Seville. What was the name of Gentileschi's daughter born in 1617, who was the only one of her five children to survive into adulthood? Prudencia. Yes. What organization seized Gentileschi's property in Florence in January 1620 because she hadn't paid them for some ultramarine pigment? Pass. While she was married, Gentileschi had an affair with Francesco Maringhi and in 1620 wrote letters to him using what pseudonym to refer to them both? Mi carismo quari? No, Fortunio Fortuni, the composer Antonino Caloraffi, commissioned Gentileschi to design an emblem for the Academy of the Informed in Venice that depicted what creature and its young? A uh, lion? No, it's a bear. Which of the Greek muses is the subject of a 1632 painting by Gentileschi in which the artist's signature appears on the pages of an open book? Pass. Two paintings by Gentileschi, one now in Naples and the other in Florence, depict a scene from the Old Testament Apocrypha, in which Judith is beheading which Assyrian general? Holofernes. Yes, in 1628, King Philip IV of Spain commissioned Gentileschi to paint which pair of figures from Greek mythology? Hercules and... a pass. The depiction of a magnetic compass and a star in which painting are thought to be references to the astronomer Galileo, who was a friend of Gentileschi. Uh, the inclination? Yes, I'll accept that. In the work known as La Pittura, Gentileschi depicts the personification of painting in accordance with the description in which Italian writer's book, Iconologia. Oh, pass. <laughs> it was Cesare Ripa. And you had three other passes. In 1628, King Philip IV of Spain commissioned Gentileschi to paint which pair of figures from Greek mythology, Hercules and Omphali. And which of the Greek muses is the subject of a 1632 painting by Gentileschi, Clio? Which organization seized Gentileschi's property in Florence in January 1620? It's the Guardaroba. And at the end of that round, you've got five points. <laughs> Our final contender, please. Your name? Mike Wheeler. Your occupation? University lecturer. And your specialist subject? European mammals. Yes, the land and sea mammals living in the wild in and around Europe. In two minutes, 
Let's go. The only non-human primates living wild in Europe are a colony of Barbary macaques that inhabit part of which British overseas territory? Gibraltar. Yes. What word that describes the shape of a characteristic flap of skin on their faces features in the common name of the greater and lesser species of bat of the genus Rhinolophus? Horseshoe. Yes, the scoma vole, which is endemic to its namesake island off the Pembrokeshire coast, is a subspecies of which vole? Bank vole. Yes, in which species of seal does the adult male possess an inflatable sack of skin on its head and a red nasal septum? That can be inflated out of one nostril like a balloon. Hooded seal. Yes, European beavers mark their territory using anal gland secretions and which other substance that's stored in special body cavities and is said to have a musky vanilla odour? Castorium. Yes, which species of deer is the only even-toed ungulate known to use the reproductive strategy of delayed embryo implantation? Muntjac? No, the roe deer. What word of Persian origin refers to a joined-up procession of shrews in which a female leads her young to another location, with each one holding on to one in front? Caravanning. Yes. What's the common name of the smallest rodent species found in the wild in Europe? The... Harvest mouse. Yes, what word from the Latin for throat is used to describe the brown spots behind the angle of the mouth that are possessed by the common weasel, but not by the least weasel? Cheek spots. No, gula. What common name borrowed from Russian is given to both the European and the spotted species of ground squirrel of the genus Spermophilus? Suslik. Yes, which species of baleen whale is sometimes known as the razorback because of the distinct ridge that runs down the rear part of its back? Humpback whale? No, the fin whale. What's the usual term for a breeding colony of seals, such as the grey seal, with sites that typically include uninhabited islands, caves and remote beaches? Pass. An endangered semi-aquatic insectivore, I've started so I'll finish, of the mole family with a long, flattened, proboscis-like snout and large webbed feet is called the Pyrenean or Iberian what? Desmond. It is the Desmond. So, Mike, you had just the one pass, the usual term for a breeding colony of seals, such as the grey seal, rookery. You knew it. I did. And at the end of that round, Mike, you've got nine points. Thank you. At the end of the specialist subjects round, let's have a look at the scores. In fourth place, with five points, it's Aoife. In third place, with nine points, it's Mike. In second place with 10 points, it's Stuart. And in first place with 13 points, sits James. So now, the general knowledge round. And if there's a tie at the end, then the number of passes is taken into account, and the person with the fewer passes is the winner. And if they're tied on passes as well, it's a tie break. So let's ask Aoife to join us again, please. Aoife, you start with five points. You've now got two and a half minutes on general knowledge. Let's go. The abbreviation FYI is usually taken to mean for your what? Information. Yes, the Stewart Highway extends for almost 1,800 miles from Port Augusta in South Australia to which city in the Northern Territory? Canberra? No, Darwin. In which sport did the American announcer Michael Buffer first achieve fame with his trademarked call of let's get ready to rumble? Boxing? Yes. The word brace is often used to refer to what number of game birds, such as pheasant and grouse, after they've been shot? Pass. The title character of a narrative poem by Alfred Lord Tennyson, who hath no loyal knight and true and says she is half sick of shadows, is the lady of where? Chalat. Yes. In which city in southwestern France is La Cité de Va, a museum opened in 2016 dedicated to the culture and heritage of wine? Bordeaux? Yes, in the 1970s American television detective series Starsky and Hutch, which actor plays Starsky? Pass. Which island in the South Atlantic, part of a British overseas territory, is named after the feast day on which it was sighted by the explorer Afonso de Albuquerque in 1503? The Virgin Islands? No, Ascension Island. What historic country house in Derbyshire is the principal seat of the Duke and Duchess of Devonshire? Pass. What number is the title of the 1995 film starring Morgan Freeman and Brad Pitt as two detectives hunting a serial killer? Seven. Yes, the battles of Amiens, Passchendaele and Caporetto were all fought during which major 20th century conflict? Uh, the... Uh, pass. 
Which American singer had UK hit singles in the 1980s entitled I Wanna Dance With Somebody So Emotional and One Moment in Time? Whitney Houston. Yes. What name given to several varieties of hybrid primroses derived from Greek words for many and flower? Pass. In Texas Hold'em Poker, a hand that consists of five cards in numerical sequence but not of the same suit is known by what name? A uh, run. Yes, a straight or a run. What metric unit of measurement of atmospheric pressure used in meteorology is often abbreviated to the letters MB, both in lower case? Tons. No, millibar. Schubert's Symphony No. 4 in C minor and Mahler's Symphony No. 6 in A minor are both commonly known by what name? Pass. Which vast mountain system in North America extends to more than 1,500 miles from eastern Canada to Alabama? The Rockies? No, it's the Appalachian Mountains. And Ify, you had six passes. Schubert's Symphony No. 4 in C minor and Mahler's Symphony No. 6 in A minor, they're both called tragic symphonies. Polyanthus is the name given to several varieties of hybrid primrose. The First World War is when we had the battles of Amiens, Passchendaele and Caporetto. Chatsworth House is the country seat of the Duke and Duchess of Devonshire. And it was Paul Michael Glazer. Yeah. He played Starsky in Starsky and Hutch. And the word brace is often used to refer to what number of game birds? Two! <sighs> and at the end of that round, Aoife, you now have a total of 12 points. <laughs> Next up, it's Mike. Mike, you start with nine points. The score to beat as it stands is 13 points, and you've got two and a half minutes on general knowledge. Let's go. The Rover's Return is the name of the local pub in what long-running British television soap? Coronation Street. Yes, in August 1959, which group of islands in the Pacific Ocean became the 50th US state? Hawaii. Yes, on which temperature scale does water have a boiling point of 212 degrees and a freezing point of 32 degrees? Kelvin. No, Fahrenheit. What plant with long, edible stalks that can be used to make desserts has varieties that include cherry red, crimson red and Victoria? Rhubarb. Yes, in the 2011 film The Iron Lady, which American actress plays Margaret Thatcher? Meryl Streep. Yes, what name from Latin words for three and oar is given to a type of ancient warship that was propelled by three banks of oars? Trireme. Yes, in the name of the UK's independent advertising regulator, often abbreviated to the letters ASA, the letter S stands for what plural word? Standard. Yes, in the 2022 FA Cup final at Wembley, which club beat Chelsea 6-5 in a penalty shootout? Liverpool. Yes, in the 1819 poem in which John Keats wrote, So let me be thy choir and make a moan upon the midnight hours, is an ode addressed to what legendary figure whom he refers to as goddess? Pass. Following an election in March 2022, Yoon Suk-yeol succeeded Moon Jae-in as president of which Asian country? South Korea. Yes. What Britpop band fronted by Brett Anderson won the 1993 Mercury Prize for their chart-topping self-titled debut album featuring the hit singles Metal Mickey, Animal Nitrate and So Young? Suede? Yes, the Lindy Hop, a dance that originated in Harlem, New York in the late 1920s, is named after which famous aviator? Charles Lindbergh. Yes, what word, which in Hinduism refers to an incarnation of a deity, can now refer to an icon or figure that a person uses to represent themselves in a video game or online environment? Avatar. Yes, after nitrogen and oxygen, what's the next most abundant element in dry air, making up just less than 1%? Argon. Yes. What strategically important narrow waterway lies to the south of Iran and links the Persian Gulf with the Gulf of Oman? Strait of Hormuz. Yes. In 2017, the politician Ian Blackford became which party's leader in the Westminster Parliament? SNP. Yes, the Scottish National Party, which play by Noel Coward is subtitled an intimate comedy in three acts and tells the story of a divorced couple who find themselves honeymooning with their new spouses at the same hotel. Life spirit? No, private lives. What Anglo-Saxon name did Thomas Hardy use for the southwestern counties of England, especially Dorset, which provide the setting for much of his work? Wessex. It is Wessex. You just had the one pass, Mike, the 1819 poem in which John Keats wrote, so let me be thy choir and make a moan upon the midnight hours. Psyche. And at the end of that round, Mike, you've got a total of 24 points. Thank you. A 
myself. Stuart again. Stuart, you start with 10 points. The score to beat as it stands is 24 points. And you've got two and a half minutes from general knowledge. Starting now, the one-humped dromedary and the two-humped Bactrian are species of what animal? Camel. Yes, the type of minimally invasive surgery called laparoscopy, which is performed through a tiny incision, is commonly known by what informal name after the aperture of a lock? Keyhole surgery. Yes, in English grammar, the word the, spelt T-H-E, is known as the definite what? Article. Yes, at the start of a game of snooker, what colour ball is placed on the spot at the centre of the table? Blue. Yes, in the 2006 film Night at the Museum and its two sequels, which act as stars as the security guard Larry Daly. Ben Stiller? Yes, what mathematical term for a whole number as opposed to a fraction is derived from the Latin for whole or intact? Integer. Yes, what's the first name of the Prince of Monaco who, between 1988 and 2002, competed at five Winter Olympic Games as a member of his country's bobsleigh team? Albert. Yes, Emma Rowe is the title character of what 1857 novel by Gustave Flaubert? Madame Bovary? Yes, the non-ministerial government department, known in full as the Office of Qualifications and Examinations Regulation, is better known by what acronym? Ofsted? No, Ofqual. What's the stage name of the British singer Charlotte Aitchison, who had a UK number one album in 2022 entitled Crash? Charlie XCX. Yes, Cooper's Hill near Gloucester is the venue for an animal outdoor event in which participants roll what foodstuff down a steep slope and attempt to catch it? Around cheese. Yes, in which African capital city is Tahrir Square, which became a focal point of demonstrations in 2011, leading to the overthrow of the country's government? Cairo? Yes, what full name is shared by a comedy actor and game show panellist known for his role as Mark Corrigan in the television sitcom Peep Show and the author of the novels Ghostwritten and Cloud Atlas? David Mitchell? Yes, in backgammon, each player begins the game with how many pieces, 15. also known as men, stones or checkers? 15. It's 15. Robert Lindsay was nominated for an Olivier Award for his role as the gangster Moonface Martin in the 2021 London revival of which musical? Bugsy Malone. No, Anything Goes, which British architect was responsible for designing much of New Delhi, including the India Gate and the building previously known as the Viceroy's House? Edwin Lutyens? Yes, what word for a short sword attached at the muzzle end of a rifle is thought to derive from the name of the town in southwestern France where it originated? Bayonet. Yes, the musician and conductor Pablo Casals was best known for playing what stringed instrument? Cello. Yes, which politician? I've started so I'll finish. Who was the mayor of New York City at the time of the attacks on the World Trade Center in 2001 received an honorary knighthood for his handling of the aftermath Rudolph of the Giuliani. Incident of the incident. Rudolf Giuliani? It is Rudolf Rudy Giuliani. And Stuart, you had no passes, and at the end of that round, you've got a total of 27 points. And finally, let's have James. James, you start with 13 points to score to beat to get through to the semi-finals is Stuart's 27 points. And you've now got two and a half minutes on general knowledge. Starting now, what type of picture puzzle is named after the tool that was traditionally used to cut the shaped pieces that must be fitted together? Jigsaw. Yes, I've been to the mountaintop is the popular name given to a speech made in 1968 by which American civil rights leader? Martin Luther King. Yes, which Italian island that was under Spanish control until the early 18th century has a population of speakers of a Catalan dialect in the town of Alguero? Sardinia. Yes, according to a common proverb, what makes the heart grow fonder? Absence. Yes, what 2016 film stars Casey Affleck as a caretaker who, after his brother's death, unexpectedly becomes the legal guardian of his teenage nephew? Manchester by the Sea. Yes, Wormwood is the surname of the title character of which children's book by Roald Dahl? Matilda. Yes, which city in South Wales shares its name with one of the largest towns on the Isle of Wight? Newport. Yes, which singer from New Zealand had UK hit albums entitled Melodrama in 2017 and Solar Power in 2021? Lord. Yes, in the abbreviated name FBR for a type of nuclear reactor designed to produce more fuel than it uses. The letters FB stand for what? 
fusion, brilliant. No, Fast Breeder, which American businessman and investor born in Nebraska in 1930 took control of the textile company Berkshire Hathaway in the 1960s and subsequently turned it into a major investment company. Warren Buffett. Yes, the name of which competitive swimming stroke is also the name of a winged insect. A butterfly. Yes, what name is given to a common seedless variety of orange characterized by a depression at the top that contains a small secondary fruit and vaguely resembles a part of the human body? Satsuma. No, Naval Orange, what children's animated television series, which began in 2013, features a group of rescue dogs, including a German shepherd called Chase and a Dalmatian named Marshall who help the residents of Adventure Bay. Paw Patrol. Yes, the Austrian composer Franz Sussmeier is best known for having completed a requiem by which other composer which had been left unfinished on his death in 1791? Uh, Mozart. Yes, from 1993 to 2015, Jean Chrétien, Paul Martin and Stephen Harper were consecutive prime ministers of which Commonwealth country? Canada. Yes, a particular style of what items of clothing is named after the Prussian military officer Field Marshal von Blücher, who played a prominent role at the Battle of Waterloo? Jacket. No, shoes, aura, and a name that translates as land crocodile are local terms for what very large monitor lizard native to certain Indonesian islands? Komodo dragon. Yes, what's the name of the Greek goddess of women and marriage who was the daughter of Kronos and Rhea and the counterpart of the Roman goddess Juno? Di Dionysus. No, it was Hera. Hera. James, at the end of that round, you had no passes. You've got 27 points. My word, let's have a look at the final scores. In fourth place with 12 points, it's Aoife. In third place with 24 points, Mike. And in joint first place, 27 points each, James and Stuart. And they both have no passes as well, so it's a tie break. And here's how it'll work. I'll read the same five questions to each of the contenders, and the one with the higher score will win. And they're not against the clock this time. So let me ask Stuart to leave the studio now for obvious reasons, and for James, if you would return to the black chair. So, James, I'm going to ask you five questions, and I won't tell you whether you've got the answers right or wrong. Which American band leader and jazz clarinetist born in Chicago in 1909 became known as the King of Swing? Um, Louis Armstrong. What's the name of the city just outside Milan, noted for its Formula One racing circuit, which has been a regular venue for the Italian Grand Prix? Monza. What's the name of the Irish writer born in Limerick whose humorous novels include Watermelon, Rachel's Holiday and The Break? Uh, Henry. What French word meaning velvety is the name for a white sauce made from a roux of butter and flour with a light stock? Bechamel. Guadalcanal, where the first major American offensive against the Japanese began in 1942, is the largest island of which country in the southwestern Pacific? The um, Marshall Islands. You can now return to your seat. And now let's have Stuart back into the studio to take the black chair, please. So Stuart, I'll ask you the same five questions and the highest scorer wins. And this time the correct answers will appear on screen for all our viewers at home. Which American band leader and jazz clarinetist born in Chicago in 1909 became known as the King of Swing? Benny Goodman. What's the name of the city just outside Milan noted for its Formula One racing circuit, which has been a regular venue for the Italian Grand Prix? Monza. What's the name of the Irish writer born in Limerick whose humorous novels include Watermelon, Rachel's Holiday and The Break? Seamus Heaney. What French word meaning velvety is the name for a white sauce made from a roux of butter and flour with a light stock? Roux? Guadalcanal, 
where the first major American offensive against the Japanese began in 1942, is the largest island of which country in the southwestern Pacific? Um, the Philippines. And Stuart, those are your five questions. Thank you very much. You can return to your seat. Thank you, Clive. about you but I'm sweating at the end of that tie break we now have a winner James has a total of 28 points but tonight's winner with 29 points is Stuart well, which well, means well, he goes through to the semi-finals congratulations to him and those five answers were Benny Goodman Monza Marion Keys Velute and Solomon Islands join us again next time for more masterminds thanks for watching bye for now <laughs>